go ahead and try to put this up on the screen up here so you guys can see it. So this is the Gear 360 app. I'm like, where did I put the camera? So if you guys want to kind of like hold the camera and touch it and see how it feels and see how it works. Um, so what's awesome about this app is it takes that upper rectangular projection, which normally that projection looks like this. That's what's coming out of the camera. That, so you can see how like everything at the bottom gets really warped. If I put my hand down here, it's like my hand is like takes up the whole bottom of the screen. So you can kind of see like what it does. And on the on the phone, you can hit record. I can record you right now. I can go back to 360 mode and I can spin it around on the phone. The other mode is uh, called uh, panoramic, but this type of uh, projection is called echo rectangular projection. That's why it's distorted at the top and bottom when it stitches all those images together. <laughs> Recording. Um, so we use this camera a lot, and someone earlier asked me, like, what's, what's your favorite camera to use? And I'm like, this is my favorite camera to use because it's so easy. We use this camera all the time, and if your output is going to be on a phone, there is absolutely no reason why that camera can't be the camera you use for your project. Um, headset, putting it in the headset, is the quality is not so great, but that project, the two of the projects that you guys saw um, actually, only one of the ones that I can think of, the Active Junkie project where the person was paddle boarding, that was shot on that camera. I was not going to put either of these cameras on a person paddle boarding in a river. Never heard of that in my life. Um, it's waterproof. That camera is water resistant. But I have tested that, my friend. <laughs> yeah. It was a partnership with Samsung, so we also shot it in the camera because they said we had to. Um, so one of the things that we use this camera for is creating a storyboard. So basically, let's say you go down to your location to scout, and you kind of have an idea of the scene you're filming. Basically, go down there and set this camera up and, sh and put it on a tripod for real. I just put it on this so it can easily be passed around the room. But get it on a tripod, and what we tend to do is put the camera right at the top of the nose where someone's head would be in the experience you're trying to create. If it's a conference video, sit down in a chair and put the camera right here. And that's where you, put, you should put the camera. If it's a standing up experience, stand up. Now, I'm kind of short, so, but, you know, do your best. It's a, it's a guy. And then once we take all the shots that we want, we can easily export those out with the Gear 360. Now the Gear 360 will automatically stitch. You don't have to pull it into some of the programs that I'll show you later that we use these to stitch. But the quality is going to be lowered again. So it really can only be shared on social media. Um, so can, you, can you edit this in like Final Cut Pro? So you, you can edit in Final Cut Pro in Premiere, but you need to stitch it first. What do you um, mean by stitching? So we'll get into stitching more, oh. but um, so let me show you. Um, so that is what the camera is outputting. Yeah. And it even, it, it even is not, whoa. That's cool. I guess it doesn't let you do the, uh, oh wait. Here, I'll, do, I'll just do one first. So it's not letting me show you right now what um, 
but what outputs out of the camera is two round circles. Um, and so you have to turn that into, I'll just show you this. So you get two pieces of information. You couldn't edit this. So you need to stitch it together into this right here so that you can edit with it. Unless it looks like this, you can't do anything with it in your editor. So stitching is turning it and making it look like an echo rectangular projection. Would you so, use, use this camera in a regular uh, linear uh, production? Let's say you just wanted to do you know, a regular film, uh, film, film camera. Incorporate this to give you a wide angle, basically. Yeah, you can. The question is, can you use this camera without doing 360? And just right. the wide angle. Yes, you can. You can just go to one of the. It works like a GoPro, basically, um, very similar to a GoPro. Um, I've never done that, but um, you definitely can do that. Um, who has it now? Oh, awesome. So what I'm going to show next is. You can import those images that you create and save out of the app on your phone. Um, it is on both Android and uh, iPhone now, um, the Samsung Gear 360. Um, and uh, it, you can use the, uh, the Gear VR, which is a Samsung product as well, um, to look around your images. But what you want to do when you're prototyping and storyboarding is get all those images together so you can make a mock edit, so you can see how those scenes and those cuts flow together. So one of the ways you can do that is with this free program called Round Me. And here's an experience for uh, a, a stadium, the PNC Arena. Um, we went around and scouted it with a bunch of Gear 360 shots. Um, what you'll see here, um, I'm actually going to switch back to the screen here. Michael, wait, 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 up there. What you'll see here, actually we went back and shot with a more high quality camera because we wanted to get high quality still.